I'm here at Lenaro Connect in Orlando, Florida, and I'm with George Gray. George, you're the um, CEO of, of Lenaro. You've been there for about a year now. Right. How do you feel it's going? It's, uh, it's been an incredible year. Um, I think uh, Lenaro has exceeded the expectations of its members, which is great. And we're doing a lot of uh, exciting stuff in the open source world. So uh, I've been delighted by how our progress is going. So are you seeking to sign up new members? And if so, um, how do you expect them to join Lenaro? So Lenaro is helping all of its members. Um, our basic proposition is that members are signing up to Lenaro and we're sharing the investment they're making and working on common problems for all of our members. Um, we also have various products and services that we're helping members um, create in their own internal organizations um, that, that give benefit for joining Lenaro. So yes, we expect some additional members. Um, any company who is licensing ARMS, Cortex-A series processors and running open source software um, will benefit from being a member of Lenaro. So we do expect to expand the Lenaro membership over the next 12 months. I was going to ask you, um, why should a company consider becoming part of Lenaro? And you addressed a little bit of that in your answer to the previous question, but can you go a little bit more into detail about what the benefits of joining Lenaro really right. are? So, so we're a not-for-profit company, um, and so we're not measured on how much money we make. Um, we're measured on do we actually deliver value to, to our members. And the real benefit that members get from joining Lenaro is to be part of leading open source uh, software development on ARM. Um, the members get to effectively tell Lenaro what they want, what they need. And our goal is that instead of every member creating their own version of the kernel, their board support packages and so on, what's happening is there's a lot of duplicated and replicated the work that goes on in all of these, these companies who license ARM and it doesn't add any value. So the benefit of the ARM architecture is that you can differentiate, right? So, so it's not a one-size-fits-all. Every SOC vendor can go and can add their own differentiation to the market that they want to serve. Um, the challenge is that if you differentiate in the core, in, uh, then you create more work uh, and you have to carry those, that engineering load yourselves. So the goal of Lenaro is to um, take that core platform and only do it once and share the investment and the cost of doing that, therefore reducing each company's individual costs and then still enabling this, this differentiation that makes ARM so special as an architecture. Um, so the benefit of joining Lenaro ultimately is lower engineering costs uh, or the ability to spend your engineering more on your differentiation than on the core non-differentiated stuff. And secondly, ultimately, we hope to shorten the time to market for products based on open source, so whether it's Android, whether it's Ubuntu, um, any open source based software. Our goal is to make it easier for members to deliver high quality software. How would you describe the relationship between ARM and Lenaro? Because ARM is both an architecture, but it's also a member of Lenaro. So how do you describe that relationship? So ARM is one of our founders. Um, the founding members of Lenaro are ARM, IBM, uh, Samsung, Freescale, ST Ericsson, and Texas Instruments. Um, ARM, because we focus on the ARM architecture and making open source software on ARM better, um, it's, it's uh, a great place for ARM to be able to interface to the community using open source software on ARM. And so you can think of it as Lenaro being the conduit for getting new technology from ARM into the open source world. And one of the things historically that's happened is that ARM has created this, the, these microprocessor cores, this IP, and then each of the individual companies has had to go and navigate their way through the open source world, and, and a lot of them have done the same thing again and again. Um, and so Lenaro, for the first time, enables ARM to bring new technology to the market, but do it in a way that there's a, a single body that can help get open source support in a standard way out to all of, the, all of ARM's partners and customers. 
So the relationship with ARM is, is an excellent one. Um, there are certain areas like uh, there are certain areas where ARM is treated just like any other member, and there are certain areas where there's a benefit to all the members from having ARM as a founding member of Lenaro. I think it's very exciting to see where you all were as a company or nonprofit right. entity a year and a half ago, where you are now, and where the future of Lenaro is going. Is there anything else you'd like to tell viewers that I haven't asked you about? <laughs> um, no, I, I, I think um, I'm very excited by a number of different aspects of, of Lenaro. I think, I think it, it was uncertain a year and a half ago as to the direction it would go, but I think, I think we've um, really found that there's a lot of value that we can deliver to our members and to prospective new members. We're making huge strides in engaging with the community, and as the rate of change of ARM's new cause is increasing, so they've recently announced the A15, they've announced the A7, which is the, the smaller core, um, they've announced the 64-bit architecture, which is going to come over the next couple of years. I think Lenaro has a huge part to play in making the ARM architecture successful, and, and we're looking forward to the challenge. And I'm looking forward to seeing you all meet that challenge. Thank you so much for taking time to talk to me here in Orlando at Lenaro Connect, and Again, look forward to seeing what you guys do over the next cycle in the next few years. Thanks very much.